John. Everybody ready? Well, good afternoon. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. I'm going to read a little statement here, and then I will take a few questions. And uh, I'm not going to do any one-on-one, -on -one, but uh, certainly would be happy to take some questions. Uh, it's been a very busy summer for me. I've been all over Western Illinois, walking in parades, knocking on doors, doing all I can to stay abreast of the issues and represent and help the great people here in Western Illinois. However, I'm going to need to temporarily step away for a short period of time to take care of a health issue. Four years ago, I had a small growth removed from my lower abdomen through an outpatient procedure. Since then, I've been getting regular checkups. And recently, my doctor observed a local reoccurrence and, it, and has advised that the best treatment is to have it removed in its entirety. This is a rare but extremely treatable form of cancer called liposarcoma. I'm scheduled to undergo a surgical procedure this week and will be away from my full-time duties for two to three weeks. Obviously, this is a very personal issue. However, I've worked hard throughout my tenure in office to be upfront with my constituents. And in that spirit, wanted the public to know about this situation. In my brief absence, my legislative staff, Joan Hester here in my Quincy office, Sheila Miller in Macomb, and Jan Hole at the office over at the Capitol in Springfield, will continue to provide the excellent service they are known for. I've also spoken with Representatives Jill Tracy and Noreen Hammond, and in the event of urgent legislative matters, they've offered their assistance. My doctors and I are confident that I will make a full recovery and return to my duties uh, full time in early September. Although it doesn't say it in the statement that was handed out, I uh, going to be uh, the surgery is going to be at Johns Hopkins in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, I'm out. I'm going to that hospital for a couple of reasons. The first one is, is as I, as the release says, it's uh, it is an unusual type of cancer, and uh, they are Johns Hopkins are experts on this type of uh, liposarcoma. That's one reason. The second reason is I have a brother who lives in Maryland, and his wife is an oncology nurse at Johns Hopkins, and I tell you, she has just been uh, it's been great having somebody like her to help in these types of situ situations. Last uh, last thing, and then we'll take some questions. Is uh, on the release that we handed out there. Uh, there is a website on there. I found it to be a great website. It has a lot of good information about liposarcomas, and uh, I would suggest anybody has any questions on the technical side to uh, to go to that website. With that, uh, I'd be happy to take a few questions if there are any. John, how is this? Uh, is it is it related to the growth you had four years ago? Then it is. Um, I had that. Uh, growth removed and uh, at the time found out that uh, it was liposarcoma and uh, that's why we've, I've been getting regular checkups uh, throughout that time and, uh, and yes, so yes to that question. Surgery then chemo or do you know yet? Uh, good question. Uh, I do. The doctors do not anticipate any chemo, probably no radiation as well. It just doesn't. It's, it's a type of cancer that simply it's a, it's a soft tissue cancer. It's not in any organs. Uh, it simply has to be removed, and that's what we're going to do. And uh, it's a bit of an extensive surgery just because they have to go into the abdominal cavity. So the, the recovery time is a little bit longer. And then it was, so it was your, your doctors here who flagged this then? Your regular checkups? Right. Okay. And, and when was that recently? You said when was that? Well, which was what? When, when did they catch it? Uh, well, about four years ago is when we first. Oh, you mean the most recent? Yes. Yeah, yes. I've, I've been, as I said, I've been getting, re I've been getting regular checkups. Uh, about six months ago, they noticed a, a, a reoccurrence, and so we've been monitoring it. I've been getting some checkups, and uh, I was out to Johns Hopkins a couple times this uh, this summer uh, getting checkups, and so uh, they saw it and said it's time to take it out. Thank you. Any other questions? Obviously, people are going to hear the word cancer, but you're, you're confident this is extremely treatable and is not really going to affect anything coming up this fall. Yeah, I... Uh, my doctor out at Johns Hopkins, Matt, or yeah, Matt, uh, said, uh, I asked him for a, I said, Doc, what, you know, I'm a public official, and I said, there will probably be some questions. I said, would you have a statement that you would make? And he said, uh, I had to laugh because he's, it, it came back, this was through an email, and it came back about two sentences. He said, uh, it's, it's a treatable cancer. It needs to be re removed in its entirety. 
and uh, it's uh, it's uh, we expect a full recovery. So it's it's not. I mean, obviously, as you said, Matt, it's a cancer, but it is a soft tissue cancer. It's not in any organs. It doesn't spread to other organs or other areas. It simply is a growth that has to be removed so that it doesn't affect, obviously, other internal parts in, in the body. And you ex expect full schedule once you return? Yes, I mean. absolutely. As I said, it's going to be an extensive surgery because of the abdominal cavity, but uh, uh, you know, it's uh, it's just going to take a little while to heal. But I'm in I'm in great physical shape. I, I feel great. I don't have an ache or a pain. Joan and I got up uh, this morning. We walked a couple miles before we went to church. I mean, I feel great, and uh, I think I'm going to. Everybody's anticipating just a real quick recovery, but I just don't know how long that is. Uh, that's going to take. But we're we're saying two to three weeks. You're confident that your staff will keep everything rolling? Oh, absolutely. You know, we uh, obviously uh, just have some outstanding people that work uh, uh, for us uh, on the uh, on both the legislative and the campaign side of it, and they're going to just continue to do their jobs. Uh, and uh, uh, and as I said, I, I was really appreciative when I spoke to Representative Tracy and Hammond uh, and told them about the situation. And obviously, the first thing they said is if something comes up that any of my staff needs help with on the le legislative side that they said that they would, uh, of course, uh, do whatever they could. We worked great together, so that was certainly not a surprise. Following the surgery, your staff will provide us with an update and everything, let us know how you're doing? Yep, I anticipate doing that. Okay. Very good. If no other questions,